what is happening? Like, did I die and end up in an alternate universe? Because guys, guys, I am happy to tell you that the internet still has a sense of humor. Amidst efforts by certain groups to strip us of anything resembling comedy and send us into a woke dystopia, the overtly sensitive victim mob is nowhere to be found this time around. And I am so here for it. These two TikTok trends are wild for 2024, and let's get into them. First off, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss another episode of a Nigerian Tech List video. And please help this video reach a wider audience by liking and sharing. So, uh, guys, this first trend feels like he was meant to be because this has got to be fate. Remember the Jonathan Owens and Simon Biles story from months ago that everyone was freaking out about him being the catch? Yeah. I did a breakdown of it and I've linked it in my card above and down in the description if you wish to go watch that too and come back. Now, that story has set the stage for something called the soft guy era. Drizzle, drizzle. <laughs> Men are saying no to entitled ladies and demanding the kink treatment. <laughs> we'll react to a couple of videos, but first, let's take a look at the very important history of this trend. The founder of the soft guy era was Scarface Mark. He motivated men from all around the world to join the soft guy era. However, the history of the soft guy era can be dated back to Jonathan Owens. When he met his beautiful wife, Told Olympian you. Simone Biles, he forced Simone Biles to make the first move on a dating site. On a global podcast, he announced to the world that he was the catch. He made this announcement directly in front of his wife, Simone. I can't say that she denied it. For their wedding, Simone bought their matching wedding bands. She was the one that paid for their lavish wedding. Soft guys flip the script and make women pay all the bills. They pay all the bills. Hallelujah. They take out the trash <laughs> and give their men bags of money to splurge on shopping sprees. 2024 is the beginning of the soft guy era thanks to Scarface Mark. Him and Jonathan Owens have changed the rules of the dating game. Drizzle, drizzle. He is the catch though. Like, this is what equality looks like, ladies. You want equality? Here it is. Drizzle, drizzle. <laughs> All right, now that we've watched the history, we know where this is coming from. Let's react to some of the really hilarious videos on that this trend. I just got off the phone with someone I was seeing and she asked me how my day was going and I explained I was at the airport and then she said I'm glad you got there safe and I said yeah I had to take an uber I had to block her I mean she was great and everything she was emotionally intelligent always paid for dinner pretty much catered to my every need but if you hear I'm taking an uber to the airport and your first move is not to open up Venmo <laughs> and send me money are you even a real woman? And then you find out I'm on a commercial flight and you don't immediately charter me a private jet. I know my worth, <laughs> Drizzle Drizzle. I'm in my soft guy era. I want to be pampered. Yeah, you're broke, King. Just say that. And I'm sure later she'll come around looking for some sugar, but this sugar don't mix without Drizzle. Ooh. <laughs> that one has attitude. I like him. <laughs> I go on a date with a female and the bill comes and she don't pick up the bill. Drizzle Drizzle. I'm not going to pay for anything. We are not lowering our standards we will find someone who would do better <laughs> yeah don't lower your standards king do not lower your standards for no broke girl mm -hmm. <laughs> these are cracking me up like when they when they land and say i'm in my soft guy era <laughs> that just sends me <laughs> nah because i'm seeing all these dudes online talking about soft guy era this soft guy era that y'all want girls to pay for stuff and honestly bro you type of dudes bro is damn right. It's about time. <laughs> Personally, if you ask me, I it couldn't have been said better. I'm, I'm just relieved to know that it ain't just me. You want to come here asking me what I got to offer, what I bring to the table. Baby, I am the table. And, and, and it's not the question of do I got money, obviously. But I want yours. How could we speak in our mind? Now we sassy. Now we acting zesty. What y'all be saying? And did. Don't care. I'm going to put your ass to work. I'm looking for the big ballers, okay? When that bill comes to the table, don't even look in my direction. It's giving broke girl. And baby, if that's the case, that's fine. Just say that. No judgment, but next caller. I'm sorry, boo. No money on your dunyan. It's gotta go. At this point, I'm not even answering the call unless I get a cash app first. Like, what? Where's my money for my haircut? You want me to pump the gas? I forgot my wallet for me, my favorite line. And don't ask me to take out the trash. Baby, I'm in Margiela's. This ain't no soft boy era. This is a soft boy forever. What are you talking about? 
Oh my God. Oh my God, guys. My face is stuck in a permanent smile when I watch these videos. I don't see how anyone can watch these and be offended. This is, I can swear I've had this conversation with my friend. It is just so accurate. Like, so they know, they know what's up. <laughs> I'm loving this trend. I really, really like this trend. These women out here be so broke. Let me not even say women. These girls out here be so broke. Drizzle, drizzle. Now listen, girls. I had to break up with my shorty of five years because of this one thing that she did while we went to the movies. And ever since entering my soft guy era, I am expecting nothing but the best of the best. My standards are up here now. If you don't reach up here, you are not getting close to me, and that's just that. We decided to go to the movies. Movies are expensive. Everyone knows this. Two tickets and a popcorn and maybe a couple snacks is like $60 these days, right? I said, listen, buy the tickets, buy the popcorn. I'll get the little miscellaneous snacks. They're like the three, four dollar snacks. But you have to get everything, you know? He looked at me and said, when did we switch this up? I'm going to get the little snacks. You're going to get the tickets and the popcorn. So I looked at her and said, you know what? We're going to leave. I'm taking you home. This is done. This is when I realized like, yo, a lot of women these days are so broke. They are willing to let a guy pay for all their things, all their stuff. But when it comes their turn, they bat an eye. They're like, wait, I can't do that. That's your job. You're broke. Just say it. You're fucking broke. You know what, King? I'm so sorry you had to go through that. How terrible is that woman? If she's broke, she should just say so, like, drizzle. <laughs> this might be the best trend of the year. Now I'm gonna be stuck saying drizzle, drizzle. Is he letting her pay the views? <laughs> I love the soft guy era thing so much as a Nigerian woman because trust me, we have some of the most ruthless, financially demanding, entitled women in the world on this side of the Atlantic. Give me all your mother money now! So as a Nigerian woman, I approve this message. Don't let no broke ass chick access to you kings, drizzle drizzle, but the big back trend is even wilder. Again, I cannot believe that in 2023, these trends are happening on the platform with some of the most woke, DEI, virtue signaling, shallow-minded people. And the big back thing is exploding. <laughs> like it is so nice to see that people can still touch grass laugh at themselves and not be offended every goddamn second of the day big back is a slang for fat people and according to modern sensitivity standards it is absolutely wild that this trend is happening and the lead narrative is not oh that's fat phobic you're so fat phobic fat phobic this is fat phobic fat phobic fat phobic fat phobic it is so refreshing that that's not what is happening instead it is super hilarious and fat people are even joining in and it's all good old light-hearted fun But of course, there's always that one person or few people who still manages to fail the vibe check. This stupid fucking back trend shit that's going on right now pisses me the fuck off. Every single time I see one of you guys post one of these fucking big back trend videos or I see people laughing about it, all I can think is that I hope every single fat person in your life treats you like the fucking piece of shit that you are after this. What a moron! The point is, it is unbelievable this is happening and it's a sign. 
Maybe people are getting tired of being offended all the goddamn time. I mean, it does take a lot of effort to hold grudges and get triggered. Like, these two trends are literally on the line and the responses online have been mostly positive. You know, what I love the most is that just like any other type of comedy, this holds a mirror to society. Like, ladies, I hope you can hear how you sound when you make outrageous financial demands of men for no good reason. You might learn a thing or two about how money doesn't just fall from trees, you know. But Shara Stevens, Sevens? Shara Seven Stevens? Oh my god, I butchered that. But anyway, would be proud of you, Kings. Remember, drizzle, drizzle. Huh? <laughs> my name is Dio. Thank you for watching. Guys, like I always say, I may be completely off the mark on this one. If you like what I've just said, if you dislike it, go on. Pour your hearts out in the comments. I'll be reading them. <laughs> Till next time, I'll see you. Oh, double.